I'm sorry that the baboons ran away. That's unfortunate. But our dear elephant friend is coming closer towards us now, which is quite nice. He's decided he's not going to stand on the far end of the dam. He's going to come around. And maybe if we're lucky enough, he sprays some water our way. I'm also feeling a little bit on the warm side after all that excitement with the lions. They were very cool to see, of course. I think he's heard me say, stop splashing water outside of the pan because he's now spraying the water just around his feet, around his ankles. That would be a good spot to cool yourself down because, again, there's lots of blood vessels around the back of their, and all around their feet. We often see lots of ticks and biting flies going for that area. So it might be another technique to try and cool yourself down faster. Hello, lovely boy. He's just smelling us slightly. Don't come and give us any hassles today, big man. I'm just watching him. Uh-uh. 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 Hey! I'm watching you. Don't even try your nonsense with me. Thank you. Yeah, you can relax and walk off. Don't do it. Don't start with me. I've got Senza on the back of the car and he's got a big stick. He's showing off. Typical arrogance of a young elephant bull that can't quite mate with the females just yet. Must be very frustrating for him. Not quite being the top dog. Especially because he's got a bigger, stronger friend who seems to be a little bit on the shyer side. And just try to come and assert his dominance over. He's going to come again too. I'm just going to stand my ground here because he... Hey! You cannot do that to the cars. You are a troublemaker. <laughs> I'm going to turn my car around so I can face him. Because he thinks he's brave, that he gets behind me and then that's what he comes to try and do. So I don't, did you get that sense? Well, sorry, I was too busy watching him. So you saw that, he goes, no, okay, fine, okay, sorry, sorry, mom. Sure, I didn't mean to, you know, have you shout at me. Oh, I was just trying to be, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And then, and he goes, I'm going to come again. So typical of an elephant bull. It's very important that you don't put up with nonsense like that from a bull of that size. And we talk about it often because at, well, that height and that weight they could quite easily just sneeze close to you and blow you over so uh, we don't want an elephant bull like that to learn that he can chase cars and that's why we do put our foot down you make a little bit of noise and now he's gone and hopefully he won't have take that tone again with another vehicle otherwise i'm sure he'll meet the same thing the other tactic you can do of course is sit very quietly and let the elephant bull stand above you. I don't quite like that because if he does decide to have a change of heart and turn nasty, there's very little you can do when an elephant is standing 30 centimeters away from your car. So I opt to give him a warning and say, I won't tolerate that. And I do this with all the elephants all the time from a distance. I'm not into that intimidation process. It doesn't work for me. But <laughs> we'll go around and we'll see if we can find some other elephants other than naughty bulls however byron has managed to find some that are happily feeding